Casey, if you've seen the, if you have been in the market for a home in San Diego, you probably know how competitive it's been. Joining us now to uh, give us an update on the current market conditions and offer some advice is the owner and founder of the Jim Batrell Real Estate. Jim Batrell. Jim, good to see you in person. Good no more Zoom. We're all in person now. This is great. Yeah, it's awesome. So, um, talk to us about the overall condition of the market right now. Well, right now, what we're seeing is a decline in prices. Um, but I'm considering that more of a one off than a trend. Now, this decline in prices could become a trend. For right now, I'm thinking it's kind of a one off. When you talk to us about what you mean by one off, well, about two months ago, I was in here and I was talking about once people see that there's a top of the market, there's investors that have a ton of homes that they've just been timing the market, waiting for it to go, uh, waiting for it to change, which it has. It's past tense now as the top of the market. So they bring this big rush of inventory to the market. So we're seeing a lot of houses in the market right now. Unfortunately, we got caught up in a double whammy where right when interest rates were skyrocketing, which is actually what caused the top of the market, but right when interest rates were skyrocketing, it, it scared off all the buyers. So what we had is all the buyers largely disappear right at the same time we have this big glut of inventory. So a simple supply and demand function, um, it it switched, you know, it did a 180 on a dime. I've never seen a seller's market become a buyer's market as fast as I just as what just happened. So you're not seeing uh, competitive bids? You're not seeing multiple offers? No, there's none of that right now. Um, we're not seeing the competitive offers. We're not seeing the multiple bids. In fact, a buyer actually has a really good opportunity right now to step into the market. And, you know, they don't have the multiple offers. In fact, if the, if the situation's correct, you know, talk to the realtor on that one. But you can make an offer below the asking price and actually have have a reasonable chance of getting it and in fact with this extra inventory you can actually take your time and choose a house you want haven't been able to do that in the last not couple years. a long time <laughs> no, you kind of get what you get yeah so with interest rates going up and the prices coming down is there a crash on the horizon in your opinion you know I don't think so uh, because we're just not gonna have enough homes on the market to actually have a sustained you know any type of severe crash in order to have a crash you have to have a sustained excess of homes sitting on the market doing nothing we're not seeing that and I don't think we're going to once we get through this glut of inventory that we have right now which I think is going to be November December okay. I think there's going to be a stabilization of the uh, the market and I don't think there's going to be many houses for sale because you got to remember the people that have owned their houses for more than six months they have an interest rate that starts with a two they're not selling those houses and I made a joke last week uh, they're dug in like an Alabama tick those mm -hmm. houses are not coming on the market so that's going to create a shortage of houses and that shortage of houses it's what's going to prop up the market I do have two caveats with that though um, one is we know interest rates are going to go up, mm -hmm. but if they skyrocket and go crazy, that will have a long-term negative effect on real estate prices. And two, if we have a recession, like the country has a deep recession, that shortage of houses, that equation is going to go out the window because recessions are going to cause more people to have to sell their homes. So those two things, that can actually cause a, a substantial market decline. Okay, but as things are right now, um, talk about uh, prices going back up. Did, I think you said November? Well, we're going to get through this extra inventory in November, Okay, but I don't see us going up. I, I think those days are past. I think we had a huge run up. Everybody who owns a home has a big gain right now. Be mm -hmm. happy with that. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're going to stabilize. I think once we get through this big rush of November, I don't think there's going to be many houses on the market for sale, but I also don't think there's going to be a whole bunch of buyers either. It's going to be tough to be a real estate agent because there's not going to be a lot of transactions, but I think we're going to be stable probably for the next couple of years. What advice do you have for buyers or sellers right now? Well, I have advice for both. Uh, buyers. Um, right now, there's an opportunity because we have a lot of extra inventory in the market. So there's an opportunity to get in there. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to be in the bidding wars. You get to choose a house you want. Um, I would think that you should probably do that now because we know that rates are going to go up. I mean, look at the Fed funds rate. You know, we've got, I mean, it's just going to go up. So if you get it now, lock yourself in. You can get an interest rate, 30 year fixed, starts with a five. You can do shorter term ones that start with a three. So that relative interest rates are still relatively low. And for sellers, um, I would say you probably also want to sell your house now if you want to do this uh, because prices are not going to go up by sitting on your house you're not going to get more money for it uh, they're going to be stable for a while um, and we know that owners don't sell their homes so they can become renters mm -hmm. they just don't typically do that right. so owners sell a home to own another home and the rates are still low today um, but I don't think they're going to be in the future so I don't see an upside for a seller in waiting take action whether you're buying or selling yeah absolutely okay. all right Jim Batrell always great to talk to you man Thanks for having me. Appreciate the update. All right.